I had started here about 12, 13 years ago um, with the guy side of it. Came here as a grad assistant with Coach Neal um, and did a two-year kind of internship program with Bowling Green. Um, did my coaching here and finished up my master's degree and then got a teaching job here in town for six years. So I still knew and had some connections with you know our current athletic director and president and things like that. So when our women's job opened up again, um, had the opportunity to come back. And since I'd been here before, knew this was you know, a good place, a good people, good academic reputation, and, and thought it would be a good place to you know, build a program. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think this is year uh, five or six, um, but, you know, the first two, three, four years, um, it's been kind of a rebuilding project, and we knew that going into it. It was like it was a big surprise. Um, traditionally, we haven't, you know, been very strong, so it was our goal to, you know, recruit, recruit the right kind of kids that we wanted to come in and, you know, would take an education and their education seriously as well as, you know, becoming a better basketball player um, and, and raise our, you know, quality of play. Um, so we've gradually, I think my first, you know, year we won two or four or six, somewhere in that range, and gradually got better, you know, the first three or four years, and then I think culminated with the 15 and 12, 15, 11 season, maybe two years ago. Um, and then took a bit of a dip last year and, um, you know, had some injuries and things that took place, and kind of unforeseen things, which can happen every year. Um, so a little bit of a step backwards last year, but we're, you know, back being competitive this year and not where we want to be yet, um, but we've made some good strides, I think, in the last four or five years and, and definitely want to continue with that down the road. I mean, I think everybody who works at this level, Division Three, knows that the mindset and the philosophy traditionally is it's an education first and basketball comes second, which is fine. Um, you know, I think the kind of kids that, that we're after that we recruit do come into this taking their education seriously. I mean, none of our players are going to move on you know, to WNBA careers or playing overseas. I mean, they're all going to move into a profession, a career, teaching, business, social work, whatever that may be. So that's got to be the number one priority and objective while they're here. Um, and we're okay with that. I mean, we're flexible from a practice standpoint and, and try to make it work. And typically, I think, you know, a third of our student body is, is athletic-oriented, so the school understands that as well. And, and we don't have classes typically from four to six, which allow practice times and um, athletic commitments and uh, other clubs and, and commitments as well. So it's a good fit, I think, philosophically. It's a good fit for me personally. I like this level. The focus on the academics, I think, is important, and uh, we're at the right spot. I mean, we're probably pretty close to middle to the later, um, latter half of our season right now. And, um, you know, it, is it what you expect? Um, every year is, is so different, um, and I think sometimes we just take a template and try to put from year to year, um, and it's so difficult to do that because you've got different kids, um, freshmen, sophomore, juniors, different kids as they mature up, you know, so every group dynamically, chemistry-wise, is different. Um, so the, there's different challenges every year that you have to tackle and overcome. And that's kind of the fun part, too, um, is working with lineups and uh, working with who's matured and, and grown in this area and that area. But, you know, our challenges are still always the same things. Um, it, if on the floor stuff, it, it's rebounding, it's turnovers, it's execution stuff. And, and um, we've had some games where we, we've played really well and um, handled the basketball well. And, um, executed well down the stretch and made some shots and then there's been some other games where um, effort hasn't exactly been what it's wanted to be uh, from a coaching standpoint um, we've had some adversity some you know, different things and you know, how we respond to that um, at this point has been positive I mean we're, we're still plugging away and you know, we've got a lot of games to play yet and uh, our goal is to you know make the postseason tournament which is going to be top six out of ten and uh, right now we're right in the middle of the pack so it's up to us, uh, which is what we want. I mean, we're in the driver's seat, and we can control our own destiny. So, yeah, leadership-wise, we've got two captains. I mean, our, two of our seniors, um, one Kim Miller, um, has been you know pretty much um, our go-to person for the last you know three and four years, and um, scored a thousandth point you know a couple weeks ago, and has a career record for assists. So, from an on a court standpoint, um, we definitely look to her to to fill the gaps and the voids and give us a spark and the ball's in her hands a lot and she makes good decisions with it so she really helps us you know on the floor from a leadership standpoint but um, we've got a strong junior class that um, Brittany Stagmeyer will be other captain um, we don't really have a, a lot of vocal um, off the floor leaders which is okay um, a lot of our, our upperclassmen like to lead by example and by the things they do and, and showing up every day to practice to working hard and those are the kind of leadership things that, that we currently have um, and, and kind of the system that, that we, you know, have been under this whole year, which is okay. Um, everybody's different. Some years you've got more vocal leadership, and other years it's more quiet leadership, and more through demonstration and example. And, um, so, 
uh, we take what what works with each group and keep moving. We've had some some younger kids that have stepped up, and you know, the interesting thing about our group, um, and every team is like this to some respect, is we've got to rely on some different people every night to step up. Um, I mean, if you look at the the scoring, I mean, that's kind of consistent in our two top scores. But but after that, you know, game by game, um, we've had different groups and different individuals that have played well on certain nights, um, and that's good uh, from a team standpoint. You want contributions from. You know, some freshmen that have developed and are coming along, or a, a sophomore who's, you know, progressing and maturing. I think definitely we are individually getting better as we move through the year, um, and collectively you're starting to see some of that, you know, on the floor. And it's always good when a kid like uh, Beth can step in and, you know, fill the gap from the shooting standpoint. They leave her alone a little bit, and, and she hits some shots, and that definitely helps and contributes. Um, I think it's doing pretty well. I mean, we're probably above average. You know, I think. Um, every group is different. Uh, personalities are different, um, but I think. It, Genuinely and sincerely, all of our girls have a good appreciation for each other. I mean, we, we try to foster a family type of environment, and I think that they understand that. And you know, there's always differences, and um, there's always conflict and things like that. But you, you deal with things internally, and, and we haven't had any major issues. Um, we haven't had any major problems. You know, our girls get along well off the floor. Um, they hang out with each other, and, and that's important. And you can definitely see because we've been a part of some groups, you know, in the past um, that don't get along as well or don't have that good cohesiveness and, and it definitely shows up on the floor so um, I think it, 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 it's gotten much better um, and you know, our, our girls are, have a genuine c concern and sincere appreciation for each other and respect and push each other and you know good team support from the bench whether they're playing or whether they're not or whether they're out there um, is always important I think we've got great support from our girls. I think we're trying to create a first class environment I mean that the, 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 the from you know, how we travel to how we look to how we, you know, take our education seriously to the, the effort that we put into practice and, and games is, is 100% on everything. Um, that we're genuinely good people. Um, you know, we're getting better basketball-wise and, and growing and maturing and, and, and enjoying what we do. And, and I think that, you know, Bluffton um, is a good place. You know, our basketball program has um, had some struggles in the past, and it's our goal to get it back to, you know, top two or three, four in the conference, and we're definitely going to get there.